am, I want to tell you, I'm wearing a genuine Japanese house gown, made in Japan. Although I never set foot in Japan and I'm eating lunch. Some rice actually, grown in Thailand, but it'll do for a sort of generic Far Eastern food. Um, oh, oh yeah. The plates are willow, oh, hang on, willow pattern. That's it. You get a good view of the camera there, don't you? Willow pattern was developed in England in the 18th century as a sort of homage to the fine Chinese porcelain that was coming in from the East and adapted to suit European tastes. Just like a certain dress I shall be discussing in a few moments. Excuse me. Mm. Give me a chance while I finish this. It's I'm using a pair of chopsticks which I culturally appropriated from the local Chinese restaurant the last time we went there. I hope I am deeply offending Mr. Jeremy Lamb, who immediately upon seeing a prom night picture tweeted by Kezia Daum. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, Miss Daum. But here's a picture of her. Mr. Lamb went into a state of incandescent rage, shouting out to the entire world, my culture is not your goddamn prom dress. Which is pretty rich when you consider that the Chong Sam, the style of dress worn by Miss Down, was invented in the 1920s by the westernised Chinese ladies of Shanghai, oh, who were making a sort of imitation or homage of the sort of dresses they saw the European and American women wearing. Like that. And Mr. Lamb's faux rage becomes even richer when you remember that Mr. Lamb tweeted his message in English on a system invented by a British scientist, Tim Berners-Lee, working in Switzerland at the time, I think, using a platform developed in the United States and with an algorithm which started off, I uh, believe, in Israel. Listen, Mr. Lamb, speak Chinese and use an abacus, you cultural pillager. Oh, Mr. Lamb, by the way, seems to have spent his entire life being angry. I saw another tweet of his in which he complained that people kept spelling his name Lamb with a final B, like this, or maybe like this. All in all, I suspect that whoever calls him Lamb with a B is making more reference to his woolly thinking than his name, because the research I've done indicates that Lamb is a Vietnamese variant of the Chinese name Lin. That means forest, which brings to mind a saying about not being able to see the wood for the trees. And that Chong Sam, as worn in Vietnam, is always worn with trousers. So, Miss Down was definitely wearing the Chinese version of the dress. Miss Down then made the classic mistake. Obviously, too much of a lady to tell Mr. Kebab to go fuck himself, she started explaining herself, which, of course, encouraged a shit pile, because it always does. The gift that just keeps on giving. Mm. Miss Down said she did it out of respect. Well, perhaps she did, although the only time I wear a dress out of respect is when I'm going to a funeral. But why would you wear a dress with respect? Miss Down is a pretty young woman with a good figure and looked absolutely smashing in that shape of dress. And that is all. She wore it because it looked good allowed her freedom of movement to dance, which is how the cut started in the first place. It looked feminine and it suited her. What to complain about? Meanwhile, for the benefit of Mr. Lamb, let's just look at what the Chinese have appropriated from the West. Oh, but before I do, I suppose I'll have to go through what we owe to the Chinese, although I doubt this will stop the determinedly stupid from making a comment in the comments section about me not knowing anything about Chinese culture. Okay, here goes. Silk, 
movable type, porcelain, noodles, the spinning wheel, the belt drive, the umbrella, acupuncture, astronomical observations. They uh, saw the great red spot on Jupiter, you know, before anyone else. The earthquake detector, a million and one things you can do with an armful of bamboo, the soybean and its derivatives, the abacus, paper, paper money, gunpowder, coal, tea, rice cultivation, oh, lychees, rhubarb, and the wheelbarrow. Obviously, I've missed something. Are we to stop using all of these because they were cultivated and invented by the genius of the Chinese? I think not. Alternatively, are the Chinese going to stop wearing shirts and jeans? Are they going to stop using steam engines and their descendants to stop eating bagels? Yeah, I recently discovered that bagel is now such a popular food that it's a Chinese word. Uh, are they going to stop watching movies, eating hot dogs and Kentucky Fried Chicken, using aspirin, playing the banjo or the piano, wearing bikinis, wearing cut diamonds and mohair, using MRI equipment and syringes, drinking cocoa or martinis, uh, coating cooking pots with Teflon, driving motor vehicles and participating in yoga classes. Well, I see plenty of cultural appropriation here and here. I think I'll have some Spanish sherry. Spanish sherry? No, 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 no. After all that, my friend Jack um, is the one to go to. So, oh, hardly any left. Never mind. That was good. This is a toast to cultural appropriation. Prost. Salut. Gone bay.